Welcome to Yoga with Yuko. Today, let's talk about hip opener. Stretch over your hips. In yoga class, a lot of time when we talk about tight hip, we do some yoga poses to stretch our hips. A lot of time we do butterfly pose or a lot of us like to do sleeping pigeon pose. Or maybe some people start with a dragon pose. But these are the poses engage in lower part of your hips. So opening buttocks and stretching back of your hips. But all that of a balanced hip movement, uh, hip flexor, hip fun- function over your hips, we have to work on the both sides. When you stretch back of your hips, your buttocks area, your hip flexor, the movement, most of the movement happen in the hips here. Walking or lifting is right here. And when you stretch here, this area tend to shrink. All that to stretch here, you have to shrink the front. And vice versa, all that to open the front, you have to squeeze your back. And you have to do both type of functional hip. And I've noticed most of the yoga practice, when there's a hip opening, you are working on back area. So you can stretch to make a little more functional buttocks, but you have a tight front part of your hip joint, it doesn't work quite well. You have both sides need to be flexible. So when you do hip and hip stretch next time, make sure you're opening up front of your hips. And how to open front of your hips is pretty easy. So this is a neutral position. And some people, especially when you sit long time, maybe you don't have a straight opening right here. You already have a squeeze and uh, your hip pressure is shrink and you're going to be right here. And this is here, the easiest way to open up your hip is a bridge pose. Most of us use bridge pose as a back bending pose. But this is more hip opener. Than, actually, this is a opening whole front of your body. And if you have a weak core, you can pressure block between thigh, or you have an imaginary block between thigh, and keep your knees and feet about same width. And use your extra flattening lower tummy to protect your lumbar spine. And mindfully use your inhale to slowly lift your hips up. And you focus on this area, not up here. Your spine stay neutral, not bending back. Your spine stay neutral. And mindfully use your inhale to lift your hips to open up your buttocks. And we feel a sense of a squeeze on the buttocks and openness on the hip front of your legs. And just stay here and just bring your awareness here. He pricks are right here and visualize every time you inhale, you have a more space right here. And exhale, says gently squeeze your hip. Not like a squeezing and uh, hip to the side, just squeeze to the center. Not this way, squeeze to the center. Squeeze your hip to the sitting bones. And you can stay here for cue breaths. Make sure your knee is not hurting. And going down. And this is too much for you. You can lay on your side, again, straightening whole body. So use your hands to support your head and straightening leg. Legs are aligned with your spine. And you can keep your tummy flat and bend your top knee and grab your top foot if it's possible. If you cannot, just use your mind. You have a imaginary a long arm to reach your heel or you can use your strap to grab your heel. And bring your heel against buttocks. And make sure you're not lifting knees up. Your legs stay parallel to each other. You just simply stay here and tummy stay flat. Again, tummy stay flat to protect your lumbar spine. And heel against buttocks to open up your front of your hips. And if it's possible, from here you can lay on your back halfway. Heel and buttocks stay together. And legs apart to each other. Just stay here. For a little more sensation to open up your front of your hips. And turning flow, if you need a little more challenge, I can feel this most. So stepping, coming to kneading lunge, and maybe 90 degree, 90 degree at the knee, and you can tuck your toe or not. And again, use your extra squeeze your lower tummy, muscle below your navel center to protect your lumbar spine. And start with, go ahead and press your hands on the 
help the front leg on the thigh to stabilize your front foot and use your exhale to tilt your pelvis backward. If you don't know sensation of tilt your hips backward, try to use your hand to start. Let's use your hand to tilt your pelvis backward. Oops. And just stay here. And you feel deep sensation to your back leg. And just use your exhale to tilt your pelvis deeper so your pubic bone is pointing forward. I feel this one, the deepest sensation in my hip flexor. And I like doing this. And same time, you have to use your core to hold your spine. So this one, you can work on the hip flexor, squeezing the buttock, and lengthening core to engage core. So I like doing this to work on your hips. So next time, you think of a tight hip, not just stretch here. Just stretching here, not going to create any mobility to the front. So you squeeze your, stretch your back, your front squeeze. You open your front, you squeeze your buttock, and your hip will be lifted. I hope you know a little bit, more, little bit more about hip hip stretch. And next time you do hip stretch, do both. And see, let me know how you felt. And thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. Thank you.